Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Sky, like the big blue sky. And today we're gonna do LinkedIn Boolean searches. We're gonna do a crash course so you can build better prospecting lists. But first, what is a LinkedIn Boolean search? Boolean searches are searches that include operators to help you build more specific and refined lists. And an operator is a symbol or a word that allows you to construct more complex searches. The most commonly used operators for LinkedIn searches are and, or, not, quotation marks, and parentheses. But instead of just explaining these operators to you today, I think the best way to understand how to use them is to show you some examples live. So I'm gonna switch over to my screen and we're gonna go through each one of these individually. So first, we'll start with the or operator, which is typically used to expand your search. So basically when you use an or operator, you're telling LinkedIn that you wanna see results that include a specific, so like keyword one or keyword two. For example, let's say I wanted to search for all developers or programmers, my search in LinkedIn could look like this. And just for the sake of this example, let's take a look at the people. So a couple important things to, to take note of in this search is that on all of the results, because I'm using the or operator, these profiles aren't going to necessarily have both the developer and the programmer keyword, but they will have one or the other. Additionally, another big thing to take note of when it comes to using these operators is that the OR is written in all caps. And so for all the operators that I'm gonna show you today that are words, the same rule applies there and they need to be written in all caps regardless of whether or not it's OR, AND, or NOT all of them need to be written in all capital letters. So, okay, now let's jump into the AND operator. And the AND operator is typically used to narrow your search results down by requiring that all the specified keywords or terms are present in the results. So, to illustrate the difference here, we've got developer or programmer, right? So all of these profiles are gonna have one of these keywords, but what if we wanted to find all the profiles that had both of those keywords? We could have the same search, and just change our operator here. And let's look at the difference. We go from 16 million down to 3 million. So, so dramatically narrowing our search down and we're able to get a little bit more specific. Okay, so now let's move on to our third operator, which is the quotation marks. And these are typically used to search for an exact phrase. So typically, if you are searching for more than one keyword and you want LinkedIn to show results that show a specific string of words that are listed together in a consecutive order, you would use quotation marks to communicate that. For example, let's say I wanted to find profiles that had the terms machine learning, but they had those terms together in that consecutive order. So not profiles that show the word machine, and show the word learning anywhere on the profile in any location, but only profiles that have those two keywords next to each other in a consecutive order. This is what your search would look like, right? And so now we're gonna be shown profiles that don't just have machine and don't just have learning, but have machine learning consecutively together. All right, so okay, let's look at another example. Let's say we wanted to find sales development representatives, not just profiles that have the words sales or development or representative, but sales development representative all together in that consecutive order. So, okay, now let's move on to the next operator, which is the not operator. And this one is used to exclude specific terms from your search results. So let's say I wanted to find engineers, but not software engineers. A way that my search could look is I would look for engineer, but not software, all right? So as you can see, we're getting all these different types of engineers that are not software engineers. Another way that you could do this is you could again use your, your quotation marks and put not software engineer. So okay, now we'll move on to the final operator, which is parentheses. And this operator is used to group terms together and also specify the order of search operations that LinkedIn is gonna perform. So search terms in your parentheses are gonna be performed first, and then the rest of your search is gonna come afterwards. So what does that mean? Let's look at an example here. Let's say I wanted to find all of the marketing and sales managers. My search could look like this. Parentheses, marketing or sales 
and manager. So because my parentheses here has marketing or sales together, it's gonna to look for one or the other, but it's gonna look for these keywords first and then look for the manager. So I will find a marketing manager or a sales manager. Now, of course, the searches that I'm showing you are really rudimentary. And if I actually was gonna use these to try and build prospecting lists, um, I would do a lot more refining and looking at the results and the profiles to add or subtract keywords into my searches to remove any of the natural fluff that is just gonna make it in there as you start building these basic searches. But now that we've gone through and talked about each of the specific operators, now let's combine more of them together to really start to drive the point home, right? So a simple example here is let's say we wanted to go after software companies and we didn't want software development companies or agencies or software coaching companies all we want are just software companies. And as an aside, all of these principles that we're gonna be looking at here, they apply in the same way to Sales Navigator. So if you're just using the basic version of LinkedIn or you're using Sales Navigator, these same rules are gonna apply, but I figured this would be more broadly applicable and valuable to people if I did it in just the base LinkedIn search as opposed to using Sales Navigator. So okay, let's start looking for our software companies. So okay, let's say we wanna look for software companies. We just start by putting in the keyword SaaS. We'll look for companies and we got a whole bunch of stuff, right? And remember what we don't want are software development companies. We don't want coaching. We don't want agencies. And this can get kind of tricky in LinkedIn because a lot of software companies are bucketed in the software development industry. So like in this example here, this company, even though it's in the software development industry, if you take a look at what they do, they are actually a software company and they have a stack of software tools that they provide. But if you still take a look here, we've got, this is Dan Martell's company. This is a coaching company. It's not a software company. So I don't want them in there. And there's going to be a bunch of other agencies or software development companies in here that don't fit my actual criteria that I'm looking for. So let's start adding some different operators in here to refine the list. So we'll say not software development, right? And so I put the I put the quotation marks here because if I just put not software, then that might get rid of other software companies that are still a good fit, right? So we wanna make sure that it's only excluding this sequence of keywords from my search. So it's not software development companies, but we've still got Dan Martell's company in here, right? Um, he's not a software development company. So let's go and take a look at his profile and find a keyword that we can maybe use to exclude. Ah, so we've got coaching. That is not something that we want. So let's go back to our search and let's refine it. Now I'm gonna use parentheses to group my knots together. I'll put or coaching. I also know agencies is gonna be in there. So I'll put or agency, close the parentheses and as a reminder, right, we're not using the quotation marks on these ones because it's not a sequence of keywords together, but we are using it here because we wanna get rid of software development companies. Boom, and Dan Martell is now gone off of our list. So as you can see, this is almost certainly gonna be an iterative process for you. So as you go to, to try and build your searches and use the Boolean, if you make your best guess and you build out a search and you add keywords and you use the operators and you're still not getting what you want, take a look at the person's LinkedIn profile is not a fit, the company profile is not a fit, and look for keywords that you can use that are indicators that they're not a good fit for you and then add those and incorporate them into your search to continue to refine it. But okay, that's all I got for you guys today. If you found this video valuable, please hit the like and subscribe button below. It helps the channel out a lot. But other than that, I wish you the best of luck and I will see you in the next video.